This is my Road to Rank 1 series, where I take a brand new account and bring it all the way to Rank 1 in the world. Last season, I was able to make it all the way to Rank 4 in the world, but I couldn't get to Rank 1. So I'm going to be trying one more time this season to get all the way to Rank 1 in the world. Hope you enjoy. Okay, so I'm playing in a second position. Let's take a look at this board. So I think it's pretty clear that first position goes on the 5-9-10 or the 8-4-10. Yeah, but I think they take the 5-9-10. And I mean, second position, I think you're almost forced to take 4-8-10. But is that really a forced pick? I think so, since it's the only wheat on the board. But man, 5 9 10 is just so much more superior compared to 4 8 10. And what will I get as a second pick on the way back? Yep, yep. I think you just have to take this. The dream spot is like, I think I get 6 3 11 actually on the way back. Maybe, since I think someone, or get 5 8 10. 5 8 10 is not bad. And I, in fact, in, instead of 5 8 10, I think you should actually take 5 8 better. Seems weird, but I think. I wonder if I point my road to the right here? I, I don't think so. I think I just race against Orange for this 3 to 1. That's the goal here. Yeah, I, th I think that's the play, to race against Orange. But the problem is if Orange are smart, they actually don't go for the Wii port first, and they try to beat me to this 3-1. to one. And if they can beat me to the 3-1, to one, then it's uh, not looking good. The spot I'm going to be blocking a lot is probably the 5-4. It's a good chunk of wheat on the board. This is a great board for first position. Honestly, this is really strong. I think like Orange is going to be left with something like the 9-10-11, like something like this, which is pretty terrifying. Worst case, Orange is left with the E3, and it's not really bad in itself. But I can see, you know, third and fourth taking like a spot like this, a spot like this, a spot like this, maybe a spot like this, which leaves me at 9, 10, like 3, 6, 3, 11, which leaves uh, 4, 9, 11 open, 9, 10, 11 open. It's just so bad. Let's try our best to work with the table, try to take down Orange's tough position here. I think one of the ways to beat Orange's position is the table has to actually work. Like if I was, you know, like working together with the table, like to try to take down an impossible setup, the move is you have to drop one road here, one road here, the third road here and fully plow orange and make it so orange basically has nowhere to go and that has like no zero lifeline uh, except for maybe you know they 9 10 11 point the road all the way here and essentially if we can fully plow orange you know to make it so the only way they can win is they have to get two cities largest army and four victory points then uh you know the win condition becomes a lot harder and it's actually not too impossible for orange to get all four victory points because they just have a strong four wheat sheep position and they can trade for sheep. And not just that, even if we fully plow orange all the way here, they can still do road budding to 912. They can still road budding all the way to 25. So they got actually a lot of outs inside of this. But that's the problem with the ranked games versus live games. In live games, you might be able to communicate that and like, you know, dude, orange is doing really good. You know, let's try to stop them. But it's a ranked game, so I can't do that. And something I see with a lot of other beginners, or just intermediates too, even just advanced players, they'll say, like, you know, the game just started. How can it be so sure? We're all even. But I just, I hate that notion because that's not true. You can kind of predict where people will go, but not only can you predict where people can go, it's like the starting placements does not make everyone even. And they might be able to make an excuse saying, wow, but it's Catan. Of course, so many things can happen. I just disagree with that idea a lot because there are setups that just have like, just from the start, they're just OP and they just have a strong winning chance. And sometimes even if you rob them for the entire game, they still are able. Anyways, let's see what we can do in this position. 5, 6, 11. That's exactly what I thought. So I can either let Orange have the 6, 3, 11 position. And the idea is to, you know, have him play three resources and have a double port. That's pretty playable for Orange. And he's going to be trading for Brick. Or I can do something where I take the 2, 9, 10. Or I can do something like the 3, 6, 11 and force Orange to take the 9, 10, 11 just to get that tad bit of sheep. The problem with this is he's got all the wheat. Like, orange has a high concentration of wheat and ore, and blue has a high concentration of sheep, and I don't really trust my opponents are ranked, and blue's going to trade a lot of the sheep to orange, or is just directly robbed from blue, and that's going to be a problem. But no matter what, this high sheep concentration, it's still, they're still going to trade with orange here. I almost think this 2, 9, 10 is slightly better, and just to trade and try to get some of those sheep trades with blue. So I, I think the plan here is maybe take 2, 9, 10, which seems so bad, but do this, is that even right, though? Or can simply just do this and play Orbi Sheep this way, right? Just road settle, city to sub. That's so many things to do. I don't know. If you ever take the 9, 10, 11, that's also not a bad move either. Getting that tad bit of Sheep. I don't think, I don't like the 9. I think I like this move a little bit more and I point my road downwards, upgrade this, and I try to get those Sheep trades off of blue and I trade them more. I think that's fine. Ugh, I don't know. 6, 3, 11 also is not bad. Uh, I'm just going to do this. I think Orange's position is really, really terrifying. Uh, I don't like it at all. Yeah, I, I think this is the best move to combat Orange here. Another thing is that I'm basically flooding Orange's hand with wheat, and uh, my hand is slightly flooded with ore, so I'm hoping to trade Orange ore for wheat. So, oh, or Orange can simply just take all that ore. That's another move, too. I didn't see that coming at all. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, they're in triple ore, double wheat. Like, this is still pretty good. Blue trade sheep. Let's do this. Blue trade sheep. 
cool. He says yes, and I think it has to be orange here for sure. I'll just give, be giving him a dwarf. Cool. Yeah, I'll just give an ore for sheep here. Not the best, but I think it's fine. Yeah, ore for sheep is good. Just because uh, orange Nash is going to trade ore for sheep with blue. So I need to make sure to take away those trades. And there's not much for me to do except for pass. And I'm basically waiting for Rhodes to go under this 3-1. to one. That's important for me. I'm hunting for the brick. Maybe I could do brick for wood, wheat for brick in that spot. It's not too bad. Wheat for brick. Let's try this. Let's try this. Wheat for brick, drop a road. I don't know if I even want this with blue. He's going to want two cards. That's a no. Okay, cool. He doesn't. I think I almost like holding here because I need the sheep. I need this to preserve the sheep intelligent. But no, like I don't need to preserve the sheep. If I buy a knight card, I can always extort and steal from blue who has a high concentration of sheep, right? I'm at six cards. I think I can hold. Let's hold. Boom. Yeah. Okay. He wants brick. I've got zero brick. If he wants brick, he extorts blue for brick. If he wants wheat, he steals. Okay, let's see. Hopefully it's orange here, but I could see myself getting robbed. Blue. I guess he's going for the brick, though. Cool. Let's see if he gets it. No, he's going for the wheat. I mean, if you want to wheat, then why do you steal from blue? Let's see. And I say yes, we're sure. Okay. There we go. But I don't think he ever robs me right there. I mean, he could block the 10. Fine. I don't really care about giving blue the wheat. Wheat for ore. That's fine with me. Uh, it sucks a little bit, but, you know, since the ore is like the crappy card, and I want to keep more of the wheat, but, you know, I need it. Okay, we're both offering the wood here. Great. Steals from blue. Where does he even block? Probably the 10 wood, maybe? I'm going to say... Just say, I'm going to say, sure, just non-steal. That's fine. Cool. There we go. So, okay, that's fine. I'm going to be giving him a wood for sheep. That's not too bad. But since the sheep is rare for me, no matter what. But I don't like... Yeah, the six cards. What do I do here? Do I still buy a dev? Since now I have an extra sheep. My wood's blocked. I think it's okay to buy a dev. The city is so good, though. Let's let's hold. Let's hold. Okay, I need this. Two ball. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. Okay. We're rolling. I need four or nine. Four or nine. Eleven. More. Dude, so many elevens. Like, this guy's hand is full of sheep here. Then offer sheep for X. Okay, buys that. Eight ball. I don't think it's worth it to try to buy a D or anything. I think I just drop a road here. I need a three to one. And I just drop a road and pass. I think it's the best move. And I'm just waiting for... I'm just waiting for the 9 or 4. Okay. See? 11 rules. So much extra sheep on the board. No, thank you. Uh, but this is the surplus of sheep that I'm talking about that, uh, you know, Orange is very happy about. And, you know, as soon as I upgrade 9, 5, 9, 10, they're chilling hard. Okay, there's a city. That's cool. No more cards now. Nothing else in my hand. I'm happy with this hand. Think. Okay. Orange is just waiting for those 9s to pop off. Eight rolls. Let's see if there's any wood on the board. I think there is a wood. Since I think I wanted the wood over the wheat, actually. Let's see. If I can get the city over the settlement. All right, screw it. I think I need the three to one. I think I need the three to one. The, it seems weird to drop to excuse a city. Uh, but I think the three to one is so important because if this guy gets a wood and he has a road building, then I get plowed and I lose the game. And the thing is, I still need a 10 to get me a city of eight. A single 10 still gets me the city, which is why I'm more okay with it. And if I get a city on the 4 8 10, then it gives the table like fake incentive to plow me. It's like, oh, look at red. He's got a city. And if this goes, if this 3 to 1 goes to orange, I lose the game. So I'm just trying to prevent moves from me to that'll instantly lose the game, which is, you know, to me getting plowed. And I think in this spot, I've got to do a lot more things. I've got a city this 4 8 10. I've got a road settle this 2 5. And then my setup finally turns online. But it's a lot of things to do, is the problem. It does a defensive road here. Makes sense since, you know, blue's threatening to plow. 10 ball. That's good. That's good. That's my city now. And I think orange also has a city on their turn too. And the, the problem though with blue getting plowed and losing the sheep port is, you now did blue ever plow me on this 5-2? No way, right? Blue just goes to the 3-1, to one, I think. Yeah, blue just goes to the 3-1. to one. That makes, yeah, I think that's probably the If you plow me to the 5-2, I'd be pretty surprised. But that's the problem if with my setup is that if I decide to get a city on the 4-8-10, what happens is the table sees that I'm at 4 points and everyone else is at 2 points. And the big issue with that is even though I'm at four points, I can't actually do that much, which which sounds crazy. Yeah, like, oh, that, that's bad. Like, Orange is pacing it really well. Okay, see, see, look, look, see, if I didn't do, if I, if I got a city the last turn, I would have lost the game. I, if I got a city the last turn, I would have lost the game. Like, oh my gosh, that move was so much needed. I mean, that's being results oriented. Even if Orange didn't have a road building, it's still 100% the right move to do this. Because if you just get plowed, the game's over. The game's so over. Okay, don't, don't roll seven, since I need to protect my sheep. I think the person who I'm actually really afraid of is actually orange. It's still not me. Like, in an objective sense, I'd still think it's orange. Because for me to do stuff, for me to get sheep, I had to trade it. Or at the road settle here. And this, it's a lot of things to do. 
And I think that four inch setup has more longer term potential compared to me. But if you just, you know, ask like most players, I think, you know, just like a majority of players gonna be like, of course reds ahead. They got a city and a port. Of course reds ahead. But it's like garbage game analysis. Another three rolls, nothing I can do. See? Another six rolls. Here are all the reasons why orange is ahead. The, the city quality is better. Their port quality is also better. They can actually backdoor the longest road. The triple ore spots and the triple wheat spots too. And not just that, since they're on double or double wheat, blue here is on barely any uh, wheat over here with a surplus of sheep. They're going to be trading, you know, orange, all of that stuff. So yeah, and there's another trade goes through. This is pretty ugly. It should, it's definitely orange here. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. No, no. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Blue made the right move right there. I, I agree. I think that's actually the best move. I think I'd want to do decisions similar to that. Let's see if there's brick on the board. I'd love some. Let's see, brick on the board. I can give two wheat for two brick with blue. Let's see, I do two brick for two wheat. Uh, let's see if blue. I can do three for two. I'm I'm fine with this blue. Three for two. There we go. And that's my road settled to two five. And that's pretty good for me. That's that's really good. That's necessary. Okay, that that was now my setup is actually on. Now I'm actually doing stuff. Okay, that double ten. That was pretty good. And from here on out, all I do is buy devs. The wheat for maybe that I'll take for sure. Don't ever want the two wood. Two wood kind of sucks. Also offer maybe sheep or that's fine with me. Yeah, or wood sheep even works with me too. That's fine. These it's, it's fine if black and these guys trade. I mean, okay, now I'm at five points. I can see more arguments of go ahead and block 10 wheat and rob them from me. Uh, I, I think that's fine, but I still think orange actually has a pretty underrated position, especially since the narrative is going to be like, you know, oh, nice. No way he's going to steal from him. He's not going to steal from blue, right? Yeah, he steals from me. Okay. Okay, cool. He takes two wheat from me. Empties out my hand. But I, I still think it's definitely uh, orange here. You know, since they're going to crush me in terms of four wheat sheep and devs. I, I think it's actually a mistake for um, black to rob me. I think it's actually still orange, in my opinion. Which seems a little bit weird. Let's see. Hopefully he puts it on the five and steals from orange. But I could see him maybe putting it on the four and stealing from me. That, that's also fine, too. Nice, nice, good. I actually think it's it's weird, but I actually think it's orange is the head. I actually don't think it's me. Let's see. This goes ahead and steals for me again. It sucks since he's building up a concentration of, of wheat in his hand. And as soon as he gets the wheat port, he can immediately use it to buy even more devs. Like orange's position is so strong. I think blue is rage blocking orange. But in an objective sense to me, orange is still definitely, definitely, definitely ahead. Like I can't do anything. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do anything either. The tens are popping off, which is the only reason why I'm getting ahead. But imagine like swap the tens with the nines and suddenly orange is popping off. But in general, I think orange is going to uh, kill us. Do something like this or do something like wood or any of these work. Two wood just seems kind of useless. I'll say yes to this trade just so you don't take it with orange here. I'd rather him take it with me though. Man, if I knew he's going to give it, take it with orange, then I'll take the two wood. It's a problem. Uh, it's just like, it's just so bad in this spot. Oh man, this is game if orange has a monopoly tier too. I'm, I don't really care about what black does either. I, I think they have, like, they might have a small chance. Actually, they have a decent chance, but I think it's orange for sure. Six rolls. Do this by dev card. BP. Okay. Wheat for what? I mean, bro, I literally offered this last turn, and you said no. One for one. I was offering two cards, and now I don't really want it. Since Yeah, like, this is the problem. It's like, I, I ported all my stuff, and, like, you're too afraid to trade with me, but I... I think this position has a hard time like getting to 10 points. It's like it's the fake scary position, you know? It's like, wow, you know, he's doing so good. Unless I can sneak road somehow, but I don't know if I can. I think I just got a road settle here as the only hit. Six rolls. Let's see. I'll do this for like two wood. So I can buy another dev card. That's the only thing I would want. Two bricks for wood. No way. Let's try this. Let's try this. I'm just curious to see what the table will say. Black says yes to this trade. Fuck it, I'll take it with him. I, I think this might be too good for black, though, is the problem. I think it might be too good for black. A yeah, knight, not bad. Seven, nine ball. Yeah, two bricks for a single sheep. My sheep is blocked, and black has two cities up, and he gets the sheep port online. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's a little too loose of a trade, when I could have simply just dropped a road. <laughs> and yeah, this is when black starts to get a little bit stronger. Hopefully, I stop getting blocked. Okay. Five rolls again. Now, I'm going to offer orange a non-steal for non-steal. Nine ball. Yeah, this is when... Okay, I don't know if I can offer orange to that, actually. They're doing too damn good. Like, just too many threats to deal with. Okay, yeah, exactly. I uh, gotta defend this five. Uh, and th th that's why I think us over Rob is because this position has a hard time. I think it has to be this. It's gotta let Black do his thing. It's a little bit scary, but... It's gotta let Black do his thing. 
I'm going to offer a black, a non-block for non-block. But where the hell do I block him? Cool. I'm going to offer non-steel for non-steel and a rob from orange here. Cool. I get the wood. And I port the wood for a sheep, I think. It's either sheep or it's... Oh, wait. I can still buy another dev card. I have the ore port. Nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah, I can just do this. And then I'll port the this for this. Yep. There we go. Mono. That's good. Mono gives me a small chance to win the game now. Yeah, I can mono the ores. I can mono the wheat. Yeah, I can mono the hell out of black too with all that sheep. Yeah, he's kind of doing good. Nine rolls. That's not good. That's actually really bad. <laughs> he drops another city here, huh? Okay. Or he just locks... Our yeah. Now he's basically at nine points. Yeah, since I think orange has the largest army now, this is not good. I just gotta do this. Get the Shoot. I need the wheat here. Yeah, this is bad. I, I, I definitely got over robbed, but it's just my opponents misevaluating the position. And I don't blame them, too, since it looks like, you know, I win the game. But in this position, right, if Orange rolls a 10, he just wins the game. And he plays a knight, 8 points, has a VP, 9 points, and City's out for 10. So hopefully you gotta dodge a 10. Kind okay. of 3 is the winning roll. Okay. It's good. Or, or he doesn't have a knight here. That's good. 10 ball. I can either mono or I can mono wheat. Let's see if I can try to get sheep here. Wood for sheep here. That's actually not bad. I'm gonna take this in general. Okay, that's just a not bad trade overall. So I'm going to buy a dev card, first of all, to get the knight. Cool. And then, do I want to road settle here or buy more devs? I think monoing ore is also not bad either. I just got to mono the ore here, I think. I don't know if this is actually that good, man. Seven ore. That's not bad, but... Okay, what do I do now? What do I do? I got to hurry. Do I go to the road settle here? I don't like that. Let's... No, I need to buy dev cards to make sure I get the largest army here. That's the move. And so if I don't get the largest army, then I don't win the game. That's good. That's my knight. Now with two knights, do I go for the city or do I go for the road settle? I think road settle is harder for me to do. And it's also slightly more efficient. So this is the move. Yeah, the road settle seems it's good. This, road settle. And now I have... Oh, I have perfect. This is perfect. I have the win, actually. Okay, so I need two orbits to get... I just survive for two orbits and I'm good. Okay, that actually, yeah, yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect. I have no cards. So I got to survive for two orbits and make sure that orange gets robbed here. I have to make sure that orange can't buy a knight. Perfect. Okay, and also I've got to dodge black winning too. No, 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 no. Or just okay. I gotta dodge orange buying a knight. I gotta dodge orange buying a knight. Ah, jeez. Okay. That's good. That's good. It's 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 all about orange now. It's all about orange. No, the eleven. No, they buy three Ds. No, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, I gotta hope that they miss a knight card, which they're not gonna. Orange just wins. Ah, uh, oh no, no, oh no. Yeah, that's game over. That's game over, I think. Yeah, since he just... Yeah, that's game over. That's game over. Man, I was one turn off. That's I'm one turn off. Is there any other thing I can do to win the game? Not really. Yeah, it's, it's not much I can do here. I guess I can pull another dev card, but there's really not much I can do. Another knight? Yeah. I wasn't winning. The thing is, I don't think people realize, like, I was winning, but not actually winning in terms of win percentage. If you plug, like, our position into an engine, I swear, like, Orange's position is totally winning. It's totally winning compared to mine. It looks like I'm winning, but I'm not, I'm not like, I'm never actually winning. Okay, two ball. Okay, now, now what you gotta do is we gotta hope that Orange disconnects where I can win the game. Even though Blue, like, threw the tantrum, it was still Orange, though. Like, to me, it's like, Orange made all those... Okay, Forget the end of the first. That, that's the thing, right? People, they threw the tantrum, but they still won the game. That's how strong Orange's position was. And like, I think, I really think that they should have gotten robbed a lot more. They got robbed a total of nine times, and they still won the game. It, I don't think the dice stats were even skewed that much in their favor, right? The nines only rolled six times, and the ten outrolled the nines. And I'm doubled up on the tens. So imagine if there's just a normal distribution inside this game, instead of this dice distribution, which favored me, then, huh, Orange totally would have smashed us, even with the normal dice distribution. And so even with nine robs, they were still killed us. And I got the perfect death cards and also extremely strong rolls. I mean, I got a fat or mono, and then I was able to set, road settle and city and get the two knights exactly. And even with that, I still lost the game with two more orbits on the line. So it really, it just is about like, you really can predict who wins at the very beginning of the game. At, at the beginning, I said like, you know, I'm only going to rob orange and I, you know, only did rob orange and blue also only robbed orange and we still lost. So some positions are just really, really strong. And you know, that's the power of four wheat sheep, especially double or double wheat 
and your opponent's being flooded with the sheep and it's a ranked game where your opponents are going to trade orange sheep or there's 11 just straight up rolls and orange does really really well and also i think yeah like the 4 and 11 for orange is it, it is much better compared to 6 3 11 uh, it's stupid for me to not see this you know just you know, you're on double wheat like triple or strong sheep with this like yeah this is just much better i'm looking at the placements and i don't think 3 6 11 i still think i think 2 9 10 is slightly better but in hindsight i think an even better move is doing the 3 10 11 and you point your road to the right basically just assuming that you're gonna get 4 9 11 or 2 9 10 and you try to cut off orange over here because allowing orange to get this 3 10 11 it's too much you can't be letting i can't allow orange to get all these things and so i think just you know just doing this and try to pre-plow orange this way you can get on yourself on you know the double or three spots of wheat a tad bit of sheep i think that's probably the best move the 3 10 11 point right 2 9 10 point downwards not bad but this i think is just by far the best move and it makes it so orange is you know they're in a tough spot and they probably point the road right hoping to get the road building to the a3 or something like that but the problem if i take the 3 10 11 point right as first and i, and I win this race to the 2 9 10 there's still a lot too many things to do i've got a you know road settle to the 2 9 10 and i got a road settle to this 3 to 1 port both of these are very key to my game if i lose a 3 to 1 that's really bad it's still playable of course but it's just not great and it favors more just game significantly Anyways, that was a kind of close game. I thought Orange was going to win from the very beginning, uh, and it turned out to be true. But I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this one does boot my ELO down a little bit more. I, I, I got to keep playing games. I got to play like 30 more games, and hopefully I can satisfy uh, the audience for the rest of the month. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll see you next time.